Good evening. Hi, good evening. Hi, Rodrigo. How are you? Fine, fine, very fine. Excellent. The, the weather. Yeah, the weather is very nice. I like the cold. Oh, you like it? That's yeah, very good. I like it. I like it. Okay, nice. And how was your day, Rodrigo? Good. It was very nice too. Did you have to work today? Yeah. Early in the morning. Uh, oh, really? Yeah. Okay. Was it all right? Everything is all right. Okay. Very nice. And how about the platform, Rodrigo? Have you been working on it? Have you finished? Yeah, I finished it. Yeah, I finished it. You finished everything. Yeah. Did you get yeah. your certificate? Yes, I get it. You got it. All right. Yeah. Very good. And I hope the new the new model, but I don't know what is the the process. Um, well, you have to just send the documents you were asked for. Okay. Have you done that? Okay. Um, the same. Have, yeah, the same. Si piden um, los mismos documentos en cada uno de los niveles, pero sí es importante que los volvamos a enviar porque eh, en cada nivel se registran de una forma independiente, digámoslo así. Entonces sí es necesario que eh, enviemos cada vez que nos lo piden, pues los necesitamos. Okay. Okay. Good. Great. So good evening, Francisco Hill. Hello, teacher. Good evening. How are you doing? I'm very good, teacher. All right. Very nice. How was your you? day? Pretty well, uh, thank this you. Day, this day, very good, teacher. Uh, it's a daily raining. Yeah, it's been raining a bit, right? Yes, and cold. Yeah, exactly. Okay, so it's nice. Did you have to work today, Francisco? Yes, all day. Okay. And how about the platform? Did you have any time to work on it? Yes, I'm finished, teacher. You're done. Okay. Yes. Very nice. Okay. Did you get your certificate? Okay, you. Yes, I I I see the certificate that um only. <laughs> yes. You only saw it, you didn't download it yet. Yes, teacher. Okay, that's fine. Very good, Francisco. Congratulations. Thank you, teacher. Good evening, Juan Carlos Peña. Hello, teacher. Good evening. How are you? I'm very good, teacher. And you? Excellent. Great. I'm fine. Thanks. Okay, teacher. How was your day? Very good, teacher. All right. Did you have to work too? Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Do you work from uh, all day? Okay. Do you work from, do you work from home or do you have to go to an office or something? Yeah, teacher, an office. Okay. All right. And the platform, Juan Carlos. I'm finished, teacher. You're done too. Very good. Yeah. Did you get your certificate as well? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay, nice. So now you are a pre-intermediate two student. Yeah, go, go first. All right. Here. Mm. That's very nice, Juan Carlos. Congratulations. Thank you, teacher. Good evening, Adonai. Good evening, teacher. How are you? I'm doing pretty well. And you? I'm very well, too. Nice. How was your day? Um, very, very hard, but good. Okay. 
So I imagine you had to work too. Yeah, I have much work. Oh, what do you do? I am a, a supervisor and technical support. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Okay. It's a very interesting job. Yeah, it sounds like that. And yes. how about the platform, Adonai? Have you finished? I'm finished. You're done. Yes, too. I'm finished. Whoa, yes. that's nice. Congratulations. Thank you, teacher. Good evening, Silvia Roxana. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Fine, teacher. Okay. Um, and you? Your... I'm fine, thanks. How was your day? Um, 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 uh, uh, more, uh, more work and, um, um, very, um, very stress. Um, oh, it was stressful? <laughs> yes. Oh. Um, um, the, the, um, 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 <laughs> no, 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 no. Okay, maybe you can say it in Spanish and I can help you. Ah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> and how about the platform, Silvia? Have you finished with the work in there? Casi, uh, casi la terminé. falta. And terminar el examen. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. Pretty good. Yeah, casi. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. ah, okay. <laughs> okay, so keep working, Sylvia. That's very nice. Okay. okay. Good evening, Morena Aguila. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Just fine. And you? Excellent. I'm doing pretty well. Okay. So how was your day? Um, uh, very busy, but all okay. Okay, everything was fine. Yeah. Nice. And the platform, Morena, have you been working on it? Have you finished? Uh, yes, the all unit uh, I have a uh, pending, pending in the yep. Epson. Okay, you're just missing the exam. Yeah. Very good. Okay. Good evening, Janari. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Uh, I'm a little tired because I had a stressful day. Oh, that's pretty bad. Yes, that teacher. is almost uh, over, right? Mm. Yes, teacher, uh, because I have a auditoria. How can I say auditoria? Oh, let me double check it. Let's see. Auditoria. Mm -hmm. And audit, I think, let's say, let me just double check it. Auditoria. Okay. Yeah, you say audit. Audit. Yep. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. I have audit. Okay. And uh, yes, teacher. So mm, they will be stay all this week all the week oh yes teacher. Yeah. so yeah. they are so, supervising your work yes yes <laughs> yeah that's stressing <laughs> <laughs> and stressful <laughs> yeah that's right okay yes, and the platform janari did you finish uh, no teacher Okay, today, you're still in section today, four. Today. All right, yes, teacher. that's good. Just keep on working, okay? Don't worry, okay. we still have two days to go, okay? Okay, thank you. you. some time, keep going. Okay. Good evening, Gladys de Los Angeles. Good evening, teacher. How are you? I'm fine. Excellent. And how was your day? Um, 
Muy ocupado, sería very... Busy? Busy. Very busy. Okay, I can very... imagine. And how about the platform, Gladys? What section are you in? Um, examen final. In the, exam, in the final exam, okay. Final exam. All right, awesome. You're almost done, keep going. Okay. Good evening, Franklin. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Uh, I'm fine, teacher. Uh, a day with a lot of work for okay. two problems in our system. Oh, no. That's pretty bad. <laughs> yes, pretty bad. Yeah. And how about the platform, Franklin? Uh, I work in the section four. You're in section four. Okay. Yes. All right. Just remember to continue working. We only have, um, well, the rest of this day. And then we only have two days to finish with everything. So please. Okay. I don't remember. Okay. okay. Great. So I think we're ready to start. So let's move on. And let's see. So, okay, we are going to start by reviewing the ING verbs. So here I have a list of verbs that we are going to change into their ING uh, forms. For that, we are going to use the chat. So please, everybody open your chats um, tab or window. And well, this is what we are going to do. Um, here, I am going to be showing you some verbs and I am going to ask somebody to write it in the ING form in the chat. So let's start with the first one. Franklin, we have sing. Write it in the chat, please, with ING. Let's see, Franklin, Mauricio, can you grade it in the ING form, please? Uh, I don't understand, teacher, sorry. Oh, okay, don't worry. Let me One explain again. example, again. please. Sure, so here we have the first verb, it's sing. Then I am going to select somebody to change it into ING. So that is singing, mm -hmm. right? And then you send okay. it to the chat. Lo vamos cambiando a la forma de ING y lo vamos enviando okay. en el chat. Okay? Okay. Okay. All okay. right. So, Franklin, try with swim. Swimming? Okay. All right. Just remember that swimming takes double M. Swimming, oh, okay. Double M, okay? okay. Thank you, Frank. Okay, okay. Next one, Silvia Roxana. Dance. Okay, teacher. Mm Okay, meanwhile, Morena, get ready with the next verb. It's get. Morena, empieza a escribir el siguiente. Get. Very good, Silvia. We say dancing, dancing. Morena, write the ing form for the verb get. And Janani, you go ahead and work with the verb cut. 
Very good, Morena. <laughs> getting. It's double T, okay? Double T. Getting. January. Okay, I see the scribe teacher. Okay, teacher. Oh, I, oh, oh, it's, yeah. Oh, sorry. It's yeah, three, yeah. but don't worry, it's fine. Okay, okay very good, January. Thank you. Gladys, sleep. Rodrigo, draw. Exactly, Rodrigo, drawing. And Gladys, we are waiting for sleep. Francisco, mm -hmm. now you work with do. Doing, pretty good. And sleeping. Very good, Gladys. Next one, Juan Carlos. <clears throat> Smoke. Adonai, the next one is for you. Close. And Roxana Lisette, you work with practice. Okay, we got smoking, Juan Carlos, very good. Adonai, you say closing and practicing, very good. Next one is skate, January, go ahead, please. Rodrigo, you work with the next one, ride. Okay. And Franklin, ask. Okay. We got writing. Pretty good, Rodrigo. Okay, how about skate and ask? Asking. Thank you, Franklin. And skating, Jenner. Very good. And next verb is ask, Adonai, go ahead and write it. And Roxana Lisette, work with climb. Hilda, yours is enjoy. Asking, very good Adonai. <laughs> Climbing. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Roxana. And the last one, Hilda. Hi, teacher. Enjoy. Yep, exactly. Enjoy. Type in, type in, the, type in the chat. Yes, please. Mm -hmm. Let me. Okay. 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 Yes. Hilda. Okay. Enjoying. Yep. No. Enjoying. Is cover teacher? Um. Yes, it's only that you use um. Yay. Okay. Um. There you are. Enjoying. Okay. Okay. All right. So now that we have the list of verbs, I want you to make some sentences, some examples. 
So you must choose five verbs in make sentences. Let's see us review the, the structure before we get to the exercise. So remember that we start with the subject, then what do we need for the present progressive or the present continuous? We start with the subject, then? ING. And, but verb before B. the verb? The, no, the verb, B, B, verb, right? verb So you write am, um, is, or are. Uh, and after that we have? The verb, verb in the ING form, as you mentioned. And at last, compliment. we had a compliment. Exactly, in the period. Okay, so that's the structure. I need you to take five verbs and make five sentences. Okay, just take one minute to make your sentences and then we are going to share them, okay? Is that clear? Five sentences. Yes, you write five sentences. With those with the chap. Verb, yes, with you those choose verb a verb, or another for verb. example, with these verbs. So, for example, I want to use swim. So, I come and write, I'm swimming in the lake. Yeah. Then you want to make a sentence using cut. So, you just go like, she's cutting, and then you choose a compliment, okay? Okay. All right, go ahead and write your five sentences. You got one minute. In the chat, in the chat teacher, type the sentence. Um, well, no. if you have some paper over there, that would be good. Or maybe you can type them or write them in your cell phone. And then we, we are just going to read them. Luego solo las vamos a, a leer, okay? Okay, teacher. All right. Okay, so Morena sent an example over here. It says, I am singing bad. Okay. Thank you, Morena. Let's see, did you finish? Are you ready to check? Did you get at least two or three? Guys? Did you get at least two or three sentences? Yes. I finished finish okay. uh, one sentence, but the, the bird draw teacher. Okay, very good. So you say, January, they are enjoying the class. Very good. Just remember that we write they, no, teacher, right? We. Oh, we, we. Okay, okay. Yes, teacher. All right. So, yeah, don't worry. It was a mistake. Fine, we are enjoying the class. Very good. Another one, please. Um, let's see, Rodrigo, tell us an example. Sorry, Rodrigo, I think your microphone is off. Is on? Yeah, now we can hear you. Okay. Uh, one statement is, uh, I'm cutting with the knife. Okay, very good. Thanks, Rodrigo. 
And also we have um, Ilda's example. It says they are drawing the beautiful landscapes. Excellent. Francisco says she is doing the homework. Great. Rodrigo, I'm cutting with the knife. Roxana, I'm riding my bike in the park. Very good. Do we have any other example, Franklin? Uh, for example, I'm sleeping late every weekend. I'm sleeping late on the weekend, you, su you should say. Um, remember to always uh, use okay. the verb be, okay? Que no se nos olvide el verb be ahí. I'm or I am, right? Okay, I'm okay, 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 okay. Y luego um, le digo, por ejemplo, I'm sleeping late on the weekend para hablar en este, en este caso del futuro, futuro próximo. Porque eh, si lo utilizo como every weekend, se refiere a una rutina. Y si nos referimos a rutina, deberíamos utilizar el simple present. I sleep uh, it every weekend. Ok. Uh -huh. okay, ok, so then. Juan Carlos says, I am practicing English now. Excellent. Roxana says, my daughter is sleeping. And Adonai, my brother is rowing a beautiful car. So just uh, that little detail, Adonai. We say a beautiful. Beautiful is only one L. And then okay, car, okay. then Vicky says, um, she is singing on the street. On the street. Okay, nice. Um, let me just remind you of this. Remember that whenever we make a sentence, we start with a capital letter. Cuando hacemos oraciones, al igual que en español, iniciamos con letra mayúscula. For example, my sister is making dinner. Y al final, también es importante que agreguemos el punto, the period. So you start with capital letter and at the end you need a period. Eso es importante. También en los ejercicios en la plataforma, por favor recordemos esta partecita. Cuando escribimos oraciones completas, iniciamos con mayúscula y al final necesitamos un puntito. We need a period. Okay. So pretty well. Now let's continue with the next exercise I have for you. Um, we're going to make some sentences in the present continuous. So here I have some prompts. For example, I and wash the dishes. Um, can you help me to make a sentence in the present continuous? Juan Carlos Peña? I washing the dishes. Very good. I'm washing the dishes. Thank you, Juan Carlos. Next one, Gladys de Los Angeles. We are doing the, the homework. We are doing the homework. Pretty good. Roxana, number three. Roxana Lisette. She's talking on the phone. She's talking on the phone. Excellent. Hilda Alvarado, number four. Yes, teacher. Number four. You are writing a poem. Excellent. Francisco Hill, number five. He's playing basketball. He's playing basketball. Excellent. Thank you, Francisco. Morena Aguila, number six. Morena. They are doing exercising. They are doing exercise. Exercise. En el caso de exercise, se puede utilizar solamente esta parte. They are exercising. Eh, pero oh. si utilizamos el do, entonces es el verbo 
do el que vamos a cambiar a ing, ok? Uh, they are doing exercise. Yeah, they are doing exercise. Or sí. they are do exercising. They are exercising. Ah, they are exercising. Or they are doing exercise. Acá como yo le puse el do, necesitamos uh -huh. Uh -huh. esta última, ¿verdad? Doing exercise. Okay. Pero sí, ahora en día se utiliza también solo exercise como un verbo. Entonces iría de esta forma. They are exercising. They are doing exercise. Are okay. Next one, Janari. What? Number seven. It, 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 it is eating its food. Thank you. Vicky Martinez. Number eight. There are buying some fruits and vegetables. They are buying. Very good, Vicky. Rodrigo, next one. It's raining. It's raining. Great. Silvia Roxana, number 10. We are traveling to the New York. We are traveling to traveling. New York. We are yes. traveling to New York. Okay, very good, Sylvia. Thank you. All right. So now that we are clear with the affirmative sentences, let's talk a little bit about the negative. So what do we have for the negative of the present continuous? Well, it's almost the same except that we except that we add not, right? So the structure that we have is the subject, then the verb be, then we add not. After that, we add the verb in ing, and then the complement and the period. So let's make some examples. Can you help me please? Let's start by using she. She, she is not smoking in the park. She is not smoking in the park. In the park. Thank you. Another example. I'm not doing the homework. I'm not doing the homework. Okay. All right, another one, please. He isn't, he isn't dancing in the party. He isn't dancing in the party. Dancing in the party. Okay. Any other example? He isn't playing uh, the guitar. He isn't playing the guitar. Thank you. Give me He's another. Not taking a shower. He's not taking a shower. Okay, pretty well. So, um, as you yeah. see, we use. Tell me. Any questions? Uh, I'm not working. Sunday. I'm, I'm not working Sunday. I'm not working on Sunday. Thank you. That's a good example. Okay, so here, notice that we, that we use the not after the verb be, right after the verb be. Después del verb be, vamos agregando el not y luego va el verbo en ing. Um, also, remember that we can use the contractions like isn't, right? Isn't dancing. Or as in here, I am not. I am not doing. Or also in this case, he's not taking. He's not taking. So you can do that. But remember, you always need to use the verb be, then the not, and then the ing verb. OK. So let's keep on practicing by unscrambling some sentences. 
So let me give you some time for you to go to the breakout rooms and work with your classmates. Here we have 10 sentences that we need to put in the right order. For example, number one, can you help me to unscramble it, please? Yeah, oh, I'm today. Yeah, I'm you say, I am. I am. I am not working. I am, I am not today. working today. Excellent. I am not working. I am today. not working today. Exactly. So that's what you have to do. If you oh, could write yeah. them down, that would be great. If not, just practice orally, okay? So let me send you to the breakout rooms. You are going to have a couple of minutes to work on this exercise. And I'm going to send a picture to you um, through the chat in WhatsApp, okay? Okay. All right, there you go. is not wearing no. a sunglasses. Mm -hmm. Si quieren, vayamos haciendo una por una cada uno para que podamos avanzar con la 10. Voy a hacer Bye. yo la 2. Eh, si quiere, bueno, re, ya hicimos la 2, mejor dicho. Si quieren, <risa> repartámonos desde la 3, mejor dicho. Si quiere, este, Vicky, haz tú la 3. La Hilda, la 4. Yo hago las cinco y así sucesivamente nos repartimos nuevamente. Bye. Yes. Ok. Number three. De... Eh, de... Eating some. They are not. They they are not eating some. Number soup. four. Eating soup. Soup. Eating soup. Okay. Soup. 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 Okay. Soup. Eh, that. Yes. I mean. Next me, verdad? Yes. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Okay. Uh, we we are not taking photo. Mm -hmm. Okay. The eight is Joe is not playing the piano. Okay. And Vicky. Um. Repeat, please. I don't know what is barking. What is what's the meaning of barking? Barking. Um oh, ladrido. Well. Yeah. The dog is not the dog. Is not parking the cat. But is not parking. Is not parking the 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 dog. At cut. Yeah. Or no. The dog is not barking. The cat. But at cut. I don't. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. The dog. 
the at, uh, I don't know, at, uh, at donde iría. Swimming. Swimming. In the pool. In the pool. Mm -hmm. Okay. In the pool. And then. And then uh, <clears throat> the cat. Are playing. Are playing with the wolf. With the wolf. With the wool, yes. Wool, 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 wool. Wool, mm, rueda. Let me no. check. Mm, I don't know. Wool. Um, well, wool. with wool, what we mean is lana, okay? Ah, okay, okay, okay. Uh -huh. Thank you. Uh, All right. Thank you, teacher. <laughs> the cat. Como la de estambre, es algo no sé qué. Una bolita. Exactly. <laughs> the cat are... The cat. Are playing, playing with, with the wool. With the wool, exactly. The wool. You got the it. The wool. Yes. Okay. Yes. Finish, you got it. All right. So um, yeah, we have one minute and we get back. Okay. Okay, teach. Okay. okay. Okay, so we're back. Let's see, we are going to check all together. Um, let's see, number one, Rodrigo, can you help me with that one? I am not working today. I am not working today, thank you. Morena, number two. Um, the, girl, the girl is not wearing sunglasses. The girl is not wearing sunglasses. Thank you. Next one, Silvia Roxana. They're not in soup. Uh, they are. They are not eating soup. Thank you. They are not eating soup. Next one, Franklin, number four. Number four, teacher. Yes, please. Uh, Susan is not going home. Thank you. Very good. Susan is not going home. Hilda, number five, please. Hilda? Sorry, teacher, no, no listen. Uh, okay. Number five? Yes, please. It is it now raining? Is it, no, is it, it is raining now? It is raining now, yeah. I forgot the not. Okay. So in the negative, it would become it is not raining now, right? Thank you, okay. Hilda. Um, next one, Roxana Lisette. Number six. Yes. I don't, I'm not sure. The dog is not barking at the cat. Exactly. The dog is not barking at the cats. Thank you. Next one, Gladys. Number seven. We are not taking photos. We are photos. not taking photos. Okay, thank you. And then Juan Carlos, help me with number eight. Jose is in playing piano. Exactly, Joe is not playing the piano. Next one, Francisco. The children are not swimming in the pool. The children are not swimming in the pool, thank you. And Adonai, number 10. 
Okay, teachers. Uh, the cats are in this, in this, no use not. Or is affirmative. Oh, yeah, that's right. So, yeah, make it negative. Okay, in this please. case, it's negative. Okay. Mm -hmm. The cats are not uh, playing in the wool. Exactly. The, the cats are not playing with with the wool. With, with the wool, sorry. Okay, thank you, Adonai. And um, do you know the meaning of wool? Pared? Um, no. It's lana. It's lana. lana, right? Lana. Uh -huh. Wool is lana, pared is wool, okay? And well, do we have any questions about any of the words in the sentences or any particular sentence? I have one. Tell I have one. Okay. What, what usually what is the more form uh, for the contraction? I am not or I am uh, I'm, I'm not. Um, yeah, so usually you use it as I'm not when speaking. I'm not. Normally you say I'm not. When speaking, okay. then when writing, it all depends on what kind of context you are in. Because if you are texting your friends, you go ahead and use contractions, right? Okay. I am not am doing this. I am not working and so on, right? But then if you are writing, right. for example, a piece of homework, then that should be I am not, right? Okay. So it depends if it's a formal work, for example, um, homework, or if you're writing an essay. So you use the complete form. Okay. Yeah, thank you. You're welcome. Any other questions? No more. Okay. So now we have another practice. We are going to make some sentences in both negative and affirmative. How come? So let me start by saying, I'm playing basketball. I'm playing basketball. Then the next person has to repeat what I said, but in the negative. I am not playing basketball, but I'm cooking my dinner. Or I am, am doing my homework, okay? You just add another sentence. The third person has to repeat what the last person just said and add some more information and so on. Is that clear? Can you repeat again, teacher? Sure. So um, let me start by saying the sentence, I'm playing basketball. Let me write it. I'm playing basketball. Then, um, let's say that Rodrigo is the next one. So Rodrigo has to say, I am not playing basketball, but I am listening to music. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay, okay. Then Understand. let's say that Morena is the next one. So Morena has to repeat what Rodrigo said and has to add her own sentence. Okay, so Rodrigo, let's start with I am um, swimming in the pool. I am, I am not speaking. Okay, I, I am, am uh -huh, speaking continue. with you. All right, thank you, Rodrigo. Morena, you're next. I am eating a dinner, but I am studying English. But you have to repeat what Rodrigo said. Morena, la negativa tiene que ser lo que dijo Rodrigo. Rodrigo, can you repeat ah, that, please? I am not swimming. Um, no. no, it was. Rodrigo, can you repeat it, please? Uh, I am not. Uh, I am not swimming, but I am speaking with you. 
Okay, so Morena, go ahead. I am not swimming, but I am speaking with you. Um, you have to change what Rodrigo said. Usted cambia la oración de Rodrigo para el negativo. La de él es, I'm speaking with you. Ah, okay. I am I'm not speaking with you, mm -hmm. but I am learning English. Excellent. Thank you, Morena. Juan Carlos, continue, please. I am... I am not learning with you, mm -hmm. but but I am watching TV. Very good. Continue, Francisco. I am not watching TV, but I am working in a house. Okay. Adonai. It's your turn. Can you repeat the uh, the question? Okay, um, Francisco, repeat it, please. Francisco, can you repeat? Uh, but I can but I, but I'm working in a, in a house. Okay, I am not working in a house, but I am reading one book. Okay, next one, Silvia Roxana. Silvia? Okay, how about Franklin? Okay, uh, I'm not reading the book, but I am watching the Formula One. Okay, next one, Hilda. Repeat the, the again. Uh, I am watching the Formula One. I know watching, but the finish, the, the affirmative. Frank, frankly. Uh, Formula One. I am. I, I didn't understand it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So again, Franklin, your sentence is, I'm watching Formula One, right? Yes, 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 yes. Okay, okay. Ah, I'm watching Formula One. Okay, yes. I'm not watching Formula One, mm -hmm. but I, I, um, I study English right now. Okay, thank you, Hilda. Next one, let's see who hasn't participated. Roxana, Lisette. Um, I'm not studying right now, but I'm drinking coffee. Okay, thank you. Continue, Gladys. But I'm not drinking coffee. But I'm but but I am not drinking coffee, but I am writing the sentence. Very good. Juan Carlos, it's your turn. I'm not driving the sentence, but uh, I am listening to music. Okay, thank you, Juan Carlos. Janari, go ahead. I am not listening to music, but I am doing the dinner. Making, you say making okay. the dinner, okay? I'm making the dinner. Very good. Vicky, continue. I am not making the dinner, but I'm sleeping. All right, thank you, Vicky. Um, Adonai, have you participated? Yes, teacher, I am participating. Oh, okay. So, is anybody missing? No sé si nos falta alguno, creo que no. Maybe not, okay. 
So, um, well, we have a couple of minutes, so let's just get to the platform and we're going to watch the video about the explanation of the present continuous. So we get more examples and we get a clearer idea about the present continuous. We also have um, the structure for the questions. So please um, listen to it, pay attention, and then we are going to just um, explain it, okay? Okay. Doing right now, type your answers in a discussion block. Ready to study present continuous? I want you to play the audio program and follow us on the explanation. Before we begin, I want to remind you, present continuous is used for actions that are happening right now. With this in mind, let's listen. Present continuous. Are you living at home now? Yes, I am. No, I'm not. Is your sister working for the government? Yes, she is. No, she's not. No, she isn't. Are Ed and Jill going to college this year? Yes, they are. No, they're not. No, they aren't. Where are you working now? I'm not working. I need a job. What is your brother doing these days? He's traveling in the Amazon. Who are your parents visiting this week? They're visiting my grandmother. Again, it is important for you to recall the difference between these two tenses. Remember the simple present is used for habitual actions and present continuous is for actions that are happening right now. This is how we ask yes no questions in present continuous. Be plus subject plus verb ing plus complement plus question mark. Read the example with me. Is she eating? Yes, she is. No, she's not. And to ask WH questions, we add the question word needed at the very beginning of it. Let's work it out. What is she eating? She's eating pizza. Note and never forget that we need the verb be plus ing for affirmative, negative or questions when using the present continuous. So what are you doing right now? Type your answer. Okay. Who are your parents? So as you heard, um, let me just get this. So this is the structure we follow for making questions, right? For the yes, no questions, we need to start with the verb be. Remember, uh, as in all, in all other tenses, we change the structure, we change the order of the elements in the sentence. So instead of starting with the subject, we start with the verb be. Then we have the subject. After that, we add the verb in ing. And then we add the complement plus the question mark. So we have questions as, are you listening to me? Are you listening to me? Um, can you help me to make more examples? Let's see, anybody? Are you playing basketball? Are you playing basketball? Any other example? What are you doing? What are you doing? That is a WH, right? What are you doing? Mm -hmm. Give me another one, please. Is she sing singing? Is she singing? Any other? Is Carlos working today? Is Carlos working today? Very good. And then for the answers, again, we have the short answers. For example, in this one, are you playing basketball? What would be the options to answer? We say yes. 
Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Yes, I am playing basketball. Exactly. The complete answer, yes, I am playing basketball. And in the negative, we have no, I am no, not. I am not playing. And yeah, you could also say, no, I am not playing basketball. Okay, so we are going to stop over here and we are going to continue practicing questions tomorrow, okay? Okay, and teacher. Do we have any questions, any doubts? So far so good? No, no for this okay. one, it's all clear. Okay, excellent. So that will be all for today's clear. class. If, remember, if teacher. you have not finished the work in the platform, please keep on going. Keep working because we only have two days. Okay. Okay. So okay. Good night. Thank you. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.